I'll be showing eight new features in Microsoft Whiteboard. The first new feature are aggregated reactions in a whiteboard. I'm here in a Teams meeting and I'm going to go to share and start my whiteboard. Here's my whiteboard and I'm going to demonstrate how aggregated reactions work. First, I'm going to make a quick template so we can brainstorm with sticky notes. Here are my sticky notes. Now what I want to have everyone do is vote on each sticky note with a reaction. And the new feature is if I hover here, you're going to see this little smiley face and I can choose any of these four reactions. So turning in new TPS reports, I love that idea. Redesign the cover sheets, hmm, I don't know. Get a new stapler, oh yes, and then come into work on a Saturday, absolutely. Now Alex and Ella will also vote and we'll see those aggregated reactions. Okay, now it looks like everyone's voted and look at that, turn in TPS reports, that got three hearts. Uh, some mixed reactions about coming to work in on a Saturday, but you can get a sense how you can very quickly aggregate all the reactions that people are giving to your sticky notes or brainstorms. The second new feature is the ability to drag an image right from your desktop onto the whiteboard. So I'll split my screen. Here's my desktop and here's the whiteboard. I've got a nice image of Bill Lumberg. I'm just gonna drag this over and drop it onto the whiteboard. Hey, there's Bill. He's even got his Inatech coffee mug. The third new feature is the ability to lock an image to the whiteboard. This is great if you wanna just ink on top of it and make sure it doesn't slide around. So I'm gonna click this image, go to the three dot menu there and choose lock. Now this is locked and you can actually see there's an unlock icon if you wanna unlock it. But if I go up here and click on a pen, now I can scribble on top of Bill like this. I can make a little galaxy ink and that image is not gonna move around. To unlock it, I'll go over here for the selection tool right click on the image and that brings up the little unlock icon. I'll choose unlock and now the image is unlocked. I can size it, I can move it around and do all the other things I might do with it normally. The fourth new feature are better zoom controls to know exactly how far in or out you're zoomed. So right now in the lower right, you see 61%. That means that's the zoom level. If I wanna zoom out a little bit, let's click that and now I can see that it's 10% zoomed it shows 10% down here. If I wanna go back in on the image, it shows those numbers. Now I'm at 120% right here, right there as well. There's also the fit image to screen. So let's say I'm zoomed way out and I wanna go back to just fit this image to the screen or whatever else is on my screen. In the lower right, choose fit to screen. Now Bill is perfectly centered. The fifth new feature is saving your pen settings between sessions. Now let's say in this case that I'm gonna choose a pen right here and I wanna get the rainbow ink cause that's my favorite. I wanna make it really big cause I always like to give Bill his rainbow hair like that. And maybe I wanna make sure that I have a red pen as well. So here are my pen settings. I've got red, rainbow, galaxy, and a yellow highlighter. Now I wanna keep these pen settings between different whiteboard sessions. I might be in a different Teams meeting in the future and I don't wanna reset those pens because these are my favorites. I'm gonna leave this meeting and start a new meeting and show how this feature works. So I'll go up here and click leave. Now I'm in a new meeting called reuse pen settings and in the upper right I'll choose share content and now choose Microsoft whiteboard. Here's my new whiteboard and check this out. There's my red pen, rainbow, galaxy and the yellow highlighter all the best colors in the whiteboard pen palette. Now they're with me in my new meeting. The sixth new feature is uploading an image from mobile whiteboard. So here's the mobile whiteboard I'm launching. Tap new whiteboard, now tap plus, and then choose images. And I'll choose photo library. Here's a photo I want, it's me. Tap that, hit add. Hey, and there's the photo added, I can size it. I can even turn it a little bit sideways or even turn it all the way upside down. Woo, dancing on the ceiling. The seventh new feature is that ink enhanced shapes now works for mouse as well as inking. In the past, if I made a circle with my ink drawing, it would actually enhance that and make it a pretty circle. But if you drew that same circle with your mouse, it wouldn't work. That's been changed now. So if I go to the upper right here on the gear, I will turn on enhance inked shapes. Turn this on. Now I'm gonna go over here with my red pen and with my mouse, I'm gonna draw kind of an ugly circle and look at that, it corrects it and makes it really pretty. I can do the same thing with a triangle now, drawing it with my mouse. Hey, look at that. The eighth new feature is the ability to partially erase a line stroke if you've been inking in whiteboard. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna make a nice thick red pen and I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna draw a line. So let's say I draw a line like this and now I wanna erase just part of it, just this piece here. If you go up to the eraser and click it once and then click it again, 
you're going to see erase partial stroke or erase entire stroke. Now the default is erase partial stroke. So now if I go here, I can just erase a piece of that line. If I go up here and click again and I want to say erase entire stroke, now when I click the eraser, boom, it's all gone. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.